Hello my soccer universe, it's time for another collection video. We are still within a Liga and Jersey review. There's a little bit quiet time for me for uh, doing other, other videos. So it's always nice to pull out a jersey from my collection and show it to you. This time it's the Stade Rennes, or to give it its proper French name, Stade Rennes home jersey from the 2021 uh, season, which is of course uh, a part of the Crafted by Culture theme. The story behind this one is I got this, uh, I think, kind of mid-21, you know, still Corona times. And it was a time where I really wanted to flash out my League uh, jersey collection a little bit with teams that, you know, around here getting French jerseys is not easy. So I knew I had to look online uh, at French stores and, you know, also swallow a little bit of shipping. In the end, I found this at Foot Center as a part of a four jersey order, which, of course, all the unpacking videos I flashed out quite some um i actually how i found the stories i was after another craft of a culture jersey i'm a little bit um sad that i didn't get it which was the uh om away jersey the dark blue with all the houses on there which is an absolutely gorgeous shirt but at that point then i i i was going going, going back and forth this one i could get for dirt cheap from from there then i got uh olympic uh nim uh, jersey also for really really cheap um, which I always liked and then I just thought yeah I, I better get another one and or two other 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 other, other ones and um, that are better off and then it was between Ren and the OM jersey and I said well Ren I don't have so that takes I really like this one and we look at the details in just a little bit in addition, it fulfills another one of my requirements or another one for my collection goals. I should not say requirements, collection goals is to get a jersey from a club in every city that I've ever been. And I've been to Rennes uh, in the year 2000, I think it was. Um, totally enjoyable city to be in. So uh, really, really nice. And I've been actually at the stadium as the scarf here that I bought. Uh, at that stadium, uh, which was back then the Roshan Park. I think it was the first time that the car got, got, got over me, which I didn't know. I, I remember they had a big opening game against Juventus basically a week after we left, which kind of, yeah, could have planned that. But yeah, so I got this jersey instead of the OM jersey. I'm really happy that, that, that I have it. I mean, uh, if you go to the Jersey History and Football Kit archive, there is um, quite some interesting shirts, but I have, have to say this one in particular sticks out and I would say we have a closer look at it. So it's a typical crafted by culture design. You have the kind of the v-neck color that is cut off, which is now coming in, into fashion. Uh, the crest, honestly, I find it rather small. I, 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 it's among other jerseys it has actually, it's, it, it, it could have a little bit more size. But other than that, we have, of course, uh, the black sleeve cuffs left and right. Then we have the front panel and the sleeves which carry the pattern. And then we have on the back, it is rather plain and very ventilated uh, as the crafted by culture designs all work, as you know. Then you have the founding year, 1901, which also carries, you know, a little mosaic pattern like the one up front and we have to talk of course about this mosaic pattern because that is the crafted by culture uh, stuff i just want to give it um, a little bit more up close uh, it is very ornamental but actually uh, it looks much more playful from uh, further back and if you go up close it becomes very geometric which i really really like and you see here this is like the ermeline pattern from uh, the Breton flag, uh, which kind of also adds a special Breton touch as well. We have the big thumbstick sponsor, but let's go back to this pattern. This pattern is honoring a French mosaic artist Isidore Odorico, uh, who lived in Rennes between 1893 and 1945. I'm reading it <laughs> right from a page here. And not only was he a famous mosaic artist, he also played for the club and actually the school uh, that is attached to the Academy of Stade Rennais is named after him. So uh, it has a really, really cool core connection. It's a little bit more subtle, and this is something I like about this jersey uh, as well. And in, in addition, of course, it's a really, really ornamental, nice, pretty pattern, but it, it sticks out. It totally sticks out. Maybe the one thing that I'm wondering 
it's a little bit off center. Couldn't we move this a little bit more to have a little bit more sym symmetric? Uh, you know, the Puma logo here is almost in the center circle, but you know, have the crest here, but then you lose a little bit uh, the main pattern. So, you know, this is maybe the one thing that is maybe a give uh, or take. In league play, there were two more sponsors up here. Typically league. Uh, uh, like, you know, I'm actually quite happy to have it this way. Of course, it would be nice to have a league uh, patch uh, going with it, but you know, those are small uh, details. Overall, it's a jersey that I actually like to wear quite a lot. All these Puma jerseys cra crafted by culture are rather lightweight and rather comfortable to, to, to wear. Um, these are, of course, the replica versions. They are loose fitting, but in a comfortable way. Uh, Samsic, again, I've said it in my review of the Ranger uh, for this season. I really feel that, you know, either go Samsic or the S both seem a little bit overkill, but I understand that it's you better want to have just Samsic, but then it's, it also will seem a bit empty, but it seems a little, little bit overkill. It's actually a company that um, kind of uh, procures uh, cleaning personnel for big companies. Uh, I know that because they also have an office uh, in Salzburg, which is you know, an hour from here where I live. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting to have this. Uh, again, I actually really like this uh, little the 1901. This is a really, really nice touch. The way this is done, uh, of course, having the founding date on there, which is of course also you find in the crest. I actually should do some research because I always wondered what these two animals, I mean, it looks a little bit like two dogs that are holding a disc or a ball, I guess. That is something I would be interested in. But yeah, this is one plain red designs. It's one of the classics I've seen in the history of uh, Stade René that they sometimes have a half-half design, which also looks nice. But I prefer a half-half design if it also carries over to, to, to the back because uh, in the 1920s season they have half design, but basically it was you had one black patch here and the rest of the jersey was red, which kind of defeats the purpose. So yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey. Did I make the right choice? To me, honestly, I made 100% the right choice, although I still uh, regret not getting that OM jersey, but you know what is still can be. Although, let's see, I've never seen it ever since, but uh, who knows. In any case, uh, let, let me know what you think about it. Ah, I forgot uh, famous players. I mean, the most famous one was actually a youth, uh, uh, a young player that came through at this uh, time. They also played in the Champions League wearing this one, uh, thanks to be fin uh, being high up in the league table once the season in Ligue 1 was abandoned. But Eduard Kamavinga is probably the most famous at this moment. Uh, there was also Daniele Rugano, uh, Rugani, Clément Grenier, Martin Thierrier and Mbaye Nyang, a Senegal striker. So, you know, uh, Ren had some really, really good, or they have some really, really good players as of late in there. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!